important thing for white parents to keep in the front of our mind is that if black children in this country are not allowed innocence and childhood without fear of being killed by police or marginalized in some other way, then our children don't deserve innocence. If Tamir Rice can be killed, then white children need to be told at least at the same age. If they can't be innocent, we don't get to be innocent. This is CNN. <laughs> the Whites. Folks, I'm really, really tired of talking about race. And it's not because I'm scared or because I feel guilty. I can assure you I'm not and I don't. It's because all I'm ever doing is countering the outright lies and the flawed assumptions of our so-called free press. It's just not a good faith conversation. It's one-sided and lacks any honesty. Not to mention the chance you piss someone off in government and they end up using your own words against you in retaliation. Think it can't happen to you? During a recent vote, the US Senate gave law and enforcement agencies access to web browsing history data without the need to obtain a warrant first. According to Senator Ron Wyden, who opposed the bill, getting access to somebody's web browsing history is almost like spying on their thoughts. This level of surveillance absolutely ought to require a warrant. It's now more essential than ever to browse the web using a VPN or virtual private network. The VPN I choose is Virtual Shield because it's the easiest, fastest, and has a plug and play 30 day free trial. Virtual Shield wants to offer a 50% off all VPN plans and all premium add-ons, including Protection Plus, residential access, and VIP performance plans for as low as a cup of coffee. Sign up for a free 30-day trial of Virtual Shield VPN and see what all the hype's about. You have nothing to lose. Please visit www.virtualshield.com forward slash drone tech. That's virtualshield.com forward slash drone tech, or just click the link in the description. The important thing for white parents to keep in the front of our mind is that if black children in this country are not allowed innocence and childhood without fear of being killed by police or marginalized in some other way, then our children don't deserve innocence. Like many of you, I watch this and I'm in awe at the complete lack of self-awareness, the brazen hypocrisy, and the outright racism that's on display. I mean, damn it, how hard is it to consistently apply standards? Is it or isn't it wrong to broadly generalize and stereotype people based on nothing but their skin color? For instance, I don't collectively blame all black people for the disproportional amount of violent crime and murder committed mostly by black men. Why would I? That's obviously obviously wrong because most black people aren't criminals. And let me actually just clarify something there. Most violent crime and murder is not committed by black males, but it is a very high rate of violent crime and murder proportional to their population size. And none of this excuses police brutality or what they did to George Floyd, but I'm just saying that it adds context and refutes the idea that white people are some sort of a threat to black people. But this guy is actually saying that white kids shouldn't be allowed to feel safe or have a childhood because supposedly all black kids don't get these things. The implication being that it's white people that are taking these things away from them. What's the evidence for this? The available data is pretty clear that black on black murder is the highest rate of intra-racial murder in the country per capita. The data is clear. If anything, there is more black on white violence than the other way around. Where's the fact check? It's nowhere to be found because this is all very insidious propaganda. Nobody on this panel is disturbed by the idea of collectively punishing white people, and in this case, white kids, for something they're not responsible for. The guy spewing this vile shit is Tim Wise, a Democrat Party activist and hater of white people. In an open letter on his website, he says about white people, quote, Fine, keep it up. It doesn't matter because you're on the endangered list. And unlike, say, the bald eagle or some exotic species of muskrat, you are not worth saving. Oh, how progressive. This guy's clearly an expert and clearly worth putting on the national airwaves to promote the collective guilt and punishment of all white people. Again, despite the data telling the opposite story. This crap isn't just being peddled on CNN, but even on the TV network news. Over at CBS, they also broadly generalized and judged all white people, claiming that even if you think you're not racist, you are, and there's no defending yourself against the charge. You're guilty because of your skin color. Now that is irony. Robin D'Angelo is a sociologist, and she's author of this book, White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism. I love this title. I need to explain what white privilege is exactly and why white people have such a hard time seeing it because it's so clear to most black people I know. 
A white privilege is the automatic, taken-for-granted advantage bestowed upon white people. It doesn't matter if you agree with it, if you want it, if you even are aware of it. It's 24-7, 365. We're told that we deserve it and that we earned it. And we take great umbrage when uh, that is challenged. You write, too, Robin, in the book that kids from the age between three and four are intuitively taught that being white is better, that you are superior. It is critical for, for white people, for people uh, in general, to, to stop denying their, their racist ideas and to realize that actually the heartbeat of racism itself is denial and the sound of that heartbeat is, I'm not racist. Now that is irony. Anyway, she's trying to broadly generalize all white people as having white privilege without any evidence to back it up. And it's because that would be impossible. It's something that's not quantitative. It's much, much more like hunting ghosts. And they set up this situation where only white people are born with this racist gene that no other group of human beings has, and we are guilty from day one. And you can't even defend yourself against it because you supposedly have white privilege. Can nobody see the problem with this? It makes people guilty simply for existing, something that they claim we do to black people. It also reminds me of the Salem witch trials where it was impossible to defend yourself against the claim that you were a witch. You've been accused of a crime you did not commit. It's impossible to prove your innocence. If you insist that you're innocent anyway, you'll likely be found guilty and executed. But if you confess, apologize, and implicate others for good measure, you'll go free. And to realize that actually the heartbeat of racism itself is denial and the sound of that heartbeat is, I'm not racist. Okay, that's about all I can take for this round. There's only so much you can say about this racist garbage. It's quite disconcerting that this rhetoric is being spewed on the national airwaves by mainstream sources. All I know is this can't end well. Thanks for watching. If you want to support this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel further, you can do so on one of these platforms, which you can find all the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.